Oda. Oda, you're gonna have us sitting here for four weeks, for a whole month, without any final saga greatness? You better come back with a 4020 vision. I don't know what to do with all that time. I mean, clearly, there's going to be stuff that I can do with all that time. But I don't know what to do with all that time. I don't, I don't know what to do with myself, bro. I'm going to jump off the red line, bro. What, what am I going to do without One Piece for four weeks? Are you kidding me? But no, uh, all jokes aside, I really do hope he gets well. Definitely uh, coming back with them laser beam eyes. We've dealt with this before, though. We've dealt with a full month break like this um, before the final saga began. I believe that was the chapter where we got it was either when Aramaki got revealed in his entirety we saw like his full design or i think it was when shanks pulled up and scared him away i forgot i forget which chapter it was that the uh, actual month break started but it was one of those but we're getting another one this chapter must be a banger <laughs> It must be because if we're if we're going into a break, this chapter has to be something. And you can already look at the look at the uh, the jump art. Yo, we got the three. Yo, really? This is some clean. This is uh, this is a clean color. Whoa. Okay, Oda. He was like, I'm gonna go on break. Let me just drop some fire. Let me just drop some fire art, art of grand grandpa and grandson and his apprentice. Like, bro. Come on now, this is dope. Okay, but yeah, without further ado. Oh my god, another color? Oh my god, more color work? Oh, look at Robin. Who was that? Who was behind Chopper? He, he, need, he needs his uh, mascot friend. Okay, I like the little, I like the new cut. I like the new cut on uh, Frankie. Luffy, Luffy looks kind of cool with the raincoat. All right, this, this looks decent. I like it, I like it. All right, let's get into it though. We're still in Marie's wall, yeah! It's so uh, the curtains. Oh, 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 is this the end? This is the end. Wow. The fallout from Reverie. The five other planets! They're gonna reveal the names! Are they gonna reveal the rest of the names, bro? Oh, no. Oda's editors, bro. The background artists? Yo, I love the background artists for this manga, bro. They, they draw these buildings so wonderfully, bro. Look at this. Like, I feel like it gets underappreciated sometimes, sometimes. Cause I know, cause you know... You know, during that Marine Ford, during during some arcs where they show like uh, establishing shots of uh, certain locations, certain islands, and you see the beautiful background art. It's fire. It's absolutely fire. Oh, what's this dude's name again? Oh no. How is this dude still alive? How did Cobra die, and this dude survived the whole whole ass bomb? I was just rereading Alabasta before this chapter dropped because of like everything that went down in uh, 1085, and I was like, dude. <laughs> I would have let this man live, bro. <laughs> that falcon falcon fruit must be mythical or some shit. How are you still alive? All the while, a number of stowaways held their breath as they attempted to escape on the various royal vessels. Wow. I, I did not think we were still going to go into this whole everything. I thought that was going to be it. Like, oh my god. Well, what else is there to really reveal in, like... Like Oda's gonna, Oda's making this scene happen. What else is there to show? It's the Aegis Kingdoms, Aegis ship, and more Morgans is plotting with them. Okay, I guess this scene is gonna, uh, it's gonna set up how they got to where Morgans is, which is cool. What, but what? There has to be more than that, right? We'll fly over to our headquarters and pretend to look for a Scoop. Use that chance to hop on board and don't get yourselves caught before then. Yeah, cause, <laughs> like, if, if they if they get caught, Morgans is done. A king somehow became the subject of a manhunt. This is big news. It's like, what do you see in there, Wobble? Oh, okay, okay. I guess this scene, this scene is gonna establish uh, Wobble explaining everything to VV. Like, yeah, your father's dead. Uh, so he must have heard about. He was listening in the whole time, right? He, he definitely like saw Sabo everything. He saw the, he was listening in on the conversation between uh, Cobra Eam and Gorose about uh lily they're actually a part of the d clan or, or what like was he really paying attention is he gonna relay all that information back to vivi is he that competent enough to to do so like i tell you leave me alone and get back to your own ship i can't other whispering to each other cb0 is no joke 
Now that they're after me, it won't matter how much everyone tries to help. Those agents won't rest till I'm back in their custody. Now let me borrow your transponder, Snell. I need to talk to my father. <laughs> Look at these clowns, bro. Showing him a pic. Like, she's missing. He's like, oh, what a cutie. Oh, and they showing Sabo. The Tajine Kingdom ship. The Lelucia Kingdom ship. <laughs> That's how he went there. That's how he got there. If I could just make it to Lelucia, I could figure something out. Yo, okay, I like the setup. I like the setup. Okay, this scene is definitely important. Oh, that spawned him. I just realized. I just realized that spawned him. Yo, what's your bitch ass? I did not expect you to show back up in, in this series, bro. <laughs> I, I wanted it to be done with I want it to be done with and over, bro. Why are you still getting screen time? The bilge section. Where's so the Taj okay, the Tajinia Kingdom is it, it, it's gotta be near egghead right damn he's beat up oh look at bro that arrow that arrow got to him damn that arrow got to him look at this i'm counting on you sabo you must live on sheesh how I, I, like okay i'm invested in this but i want this flashback to end i'm invested in the ending but i want it to end so you can go back to egghead the chapter is almost over in a month it's gonna happen without one piece no, no, something better, something better, like, get me to jump on my chair right now. I better be 30 feet in the air by the end of this. It didn't take long for the two key stories to spread across the globe. The murder of King Cobra of Alabasta and the disappearance of his daughter, Princess Vivi. The Holy Land Marijua, the man they call Sabo. Is this Eam? Is Oh, no, okay, it's just the girl saying, okay, Eam is done. The Eam business is done. We're not going to see him for another while. We're not seeing them for, I don't know. I mean, it is Final Saga. It is it is Final Saga. We might see Eam again too, but I think this is it, All right? We got we got a little we got a little teaser, and then that's it. We'll get back to it later. He seems to have a checkered fate. Oh wait, isn't that? Aren't they quoting Blackbeard? How else can you account uh, for him constantly being surrounded by those who bear the letter D? Sabo might as well be a part of the D clan. Like he's definitely he has his, his two blood brothers are both members. I was hoping we would be able to see to the egghead issue now that it seems that um, dealing with this complication will have to take priority. And then the uh, trans the Dendin -den mushy starts ringing. Oh no 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 we yes great emu. Oh no we see more. Oh we see more em Sabo. Wow. Pangea, oh my god, oh my god, Pangea Castle Flower Room, the time has come to Vegapunk's invention to the test, use the mother flame, huh, so to Vegapunk's invention, to put Vegapunk's invention to the test, the mother flame, so they're talking about the Seraphim, okay, so this is when they first activate the Seraphim, they're like, okay, nope, <laughs> no, nope, somebody saw me, Somebody saw me? Nah, really? Yo, send them out. Send them out. Somebody saw my face. Uh, so much dialogue in this panel. Is it true we haven't had a chance to try it out before? I mean, it is true. We haven't had a chance to try it out before now. So, there is no way to ascertain its effectiveness yet. It depends on how well this experiment goes, Egghead may reconsider its response. I think a forest area would be more suitable a more suitable testing ground than the sea base target. The Lucia Kingdom. Oh no! No, this is not the Seraphim! Mother Flame was that satellite beam? Whoa! That was Vegapunk? That thing that we thought. That thing that we thought was Uranus was. What? That wasn't even an ancient weapon, that was Vegapunk's? What? So what, what on earth does Uranus do? Or what is it? Is it another person? Is it a person like Shirahoshi? Now I'm feeling like all the ancient weapons are people now. They're, they're living things. Cause one, okay one, Shirahoshi obviously confirmed. Second, I'm not sure if it's any translation errors or something, but remember when, um, uh, who, I forgot Odin's dad's name, but remember he was explaining to Law and Robin, like, oh yeah, Pluton sleeps, 
underneath water like sleeping like that can mean a lot of things like like a literal living thing that is an ancient weapon sleeping or you know you know how some people call like inanimate objects you could you could use the term sleeping for inanimate objects like non-living things um but you know pluton also had blueprints but there's a theory that that could be counter pluton or a fake pluton or whatever the hell there's stuff like that going around out there in the community if if the satellite beam that Eam rained down upon Lucia was Vegapunks, as I'm I'm presuming based on this page, Uranus is not that thing. That was not Uranus that demolished Lucia. So it's up on the table now that that it could still be a person. P oh, people are also saying that um Uranus could be Momonosuke. I doubt it. He has the voice of all things. Uh, he can control. Zunisha, but I don't think he's an ancient rapper. I just think he's built different, built different in his own way. So this that thing was called the Mother Flame. I thought they were talking about the Seraphim, cause you know Mother Flame, Seraphim, they have flames on their back. I thought like like launch the Mother Flame and that like initiates the Seraphim to activate or something. Quite a lot of people live there. That is of no consequence. <laughs> You're a demon. <laughs> you are a demon. Understood. The world moves. <laughs> no, no, I can't. I can't let that go. You're a demon. That is. He said that don't matter. He said, "And." He said, and. "What you want me to do about it?" I don't care. Understood. The world moves at the will of the creator. What is the reason for the Lucius section? Did he predict Sabo going there? It better not be a coincidence. It better not be a coincidence that he, ch that I keep saying he. I gotta keep saying they until we get the reveal on who Eam actually is. It must have not have been a coincidence. I think I think Eam knew where Sabo was going. It's close proximity? You are a demon! You are a demon! It wasn't because Sabo was headed there. It was just because it was the closest island? You're so... Oh my god. Wow. It's close proximity. You're wrong. It shall be as you say. And we get the name reveals. I'm not looking at him yet. It shall be as you say. It's close proximity. No, you gotta go. You're evil as fuck. I will make the necessary preparations. I humbly request your patience in the meantime. Five. So we are in St. J. Garcia, yeah. Five elder planets. Five elder planets. Yeah. So what does Eames, Eames name means void and dream void or dream void void and then the planets like the outer vo the void of space and then you got the planets that's cool defense science warrior god oh I'm headed to AK <laughs> That yo, that makes so much sense. Okay, okay. The the science warrior god. Oh, they're warrior god. No wait, no, 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 no. I'm thinking of god knights. God, they're not god knights. They're warrior gods. I guess that's a there's a difference, right? The five outer planets. Defense science warrior god, and he's headed to Egghead. Yo, yo, go to go to time, bro. The Lucia citizens have shown sparks of rebellion recently. Yeah, and they're justifying it. They're justifying it like that. I I'm pretty sure even if they weren't rebellious, they would have still hit these people. They would have still hit him with the mother flame. It's close proximity. Oh my god, you're no, you gotta go. I can't wait until I can't wait until Luffy throws the first punch. I can't like there's gonna be that one spread page and he's gonna knock he's gonna knock the silhouette out of Eam and we're gonna see the full design. Yo, what if that happens? Luffy walks up to silhouette, like fully dark silhouette Eam. He punches Eam, and then you see he punches the silhouette, smacks the black out of Eam, <laughs> and then you just see the full design. You finally get the design that way. That'll be cool. Five Outer Planets, Environmental Warrior God, Saint Marcus Mars. I like the alliteration there. Marcus Mars, Saturn Mars, Environmental Warrior God. Did he did he uh, design Eames' little flower room? I guess that's probably not what it, what that means. That title means. 
we may be able to make an example out of them. Justice. He definitely looks like some like some judge. Huh. Justice warrior god. Or that's probably not what that means. I, I, it's going to be hard to try to interpret like what exactly they do. Uh, Topman Valkyrie? Huh? Yeah. Is that like a... Is that like a... Is that like an exoplanet or something? Is that a, is that a planet not in the solar system? Val Valkyrie? Is that an alternate spelling of like Valkyrie? Like the Norse? I, I might be thinking of something else. I don't know. I'm not too... I'm not too like... I'm not too knowledgeable on my planets or space in that matter. Just like a little bit of stuff. If we could one day use the power... Use this power freely. Finance warrior guy. Oh, he's, up, he's all about that money. Ethan Baron... V Nus Nus Jero. How's that pronounced? Nus or Nus Jero? Nus Jero. I'm gonna say Nus Jero. That probably that, that sounds a little bit better off the tongue. Finance warrior god Ethan. <laughs> Bro name is Ethan. Ethan Baron V Nus Jero. And then the agriculture warrior god uh, Shepherd Shepherd D. Uh, I said D. Why did I say D? Where did that, where did that come from? Saint Shepherd Jew Peter. Huh. Uh, okay. Peter definitely. Which one of these? Bro, okay. They're. Huh? Man, I was expecting them to actually have like solar system planet names. That would have been cool. <laughs> where's like. Where's like Venus? Where is Jupiter? I was like, I was expecting. Uh, maybe they can't. Uh, maybe they can't name one of them Neptune because we already got a character named Neptune and that's King Neptune. Okay, that makes sense. But we could have had at least like Mercury. I mean, yeah, we don't have Mercury. We only have Saturn and Mars. We don't got Mercury. I'm, none, of, none of these characters, it wouldn't have been right if any of these characters were named uh, Earth. That, that would have just been weird. Or maybe Gaia. Gaia would have been cool. We didn't. We don't got Mercury. We don't have, uh, uh, like, damn. You can't have Neptune because there's already a character named Neptune. I'm sure I would have probably thought about that. He was like, damn, okay, I, I messed up. I already named a character Neptune. We're going to have to call these guys something else. Huh. And none, none of them would have been named Pluto, because, you know, Pluto's not a planet anymore, at least. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that makes sense. That makes sense, I guess. Eh. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I could think of. Like, I was, hyped, I was hyped seeing these first two, and it was like, damn, they're not even named after planets, I think. I gotta look them up. Actually, I'm gonna do that right now. What am I, what am I talking about? What am I talking about? I'm all about my etymology. So, Val... Valkyrie with a different spelling though. I look it up on Google and Google corrects me with the with the um with the K the K Y version of the spelling Valkyrie. So I guess it is based on the Norse um at, like actual Valkyries. Let me see. Cause that that is an interesting variation of the spelling. Th this is a fan translation, so we it could be something else, but yeah. Baron Nusjero. That definitely sounds like some ka uh, katakana. So we gotta wait for that to actually get translated, because that sounds that sounds so weird. All right, you know what? I'm not gonna analyze it mid mid read. We're not even done with the chapter yet. Let me just keep going. One more thing, of course. Retrieve Vivi as you wish. Is that the end of the scene? No, there's still more. There's still more. All right, that's the end. Of the, it's the end of the Gorosei Aim scene. But I'm saying, is that the end of the flashback? Meanwhile, the kingdom of the Tajine and the kingdom I just are both rebelling between the disbanding of the seven warlords and the uprising and government affiliate nations the navy has their hands full yo wait what am i seeing to the left hold on however deploy the seraphim crocodile was spotted on empty bluffs island okay so that's where that happens Who, who's designed to do <gasps> that's moria yo crocodile looks so sick yo oh, ho, ho. crocodile seraphim looks so Yo, that's raw. Yo! Ho ho! Hey, yo, their military power had already gone in a new direction. Bro, okay. Moria's looks okay. Uh, Doflamingo's looks alright. This looks incredible. Bro, that looks so. Yo, that goes hard. The second we docked at Lucia. Oh, it's over. Flashback is over. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. The people arrested King uh, Seki and Princess Ko Komane. Since I was a stowaway, they welcomed me with open arms. 
That's when I saw the papers and found that they penned Cobra's murder on me. Unsurprisingly, the people there considered me a hero. I wanted to tell them the truth, but damn. Damn, they think Cobra is like the bad guy? When I saw how that lie fanned the flames of rebellion within them, the words died in my mouth. Betty and the others had already inspired a lot of them, and I ended up bringing many of those. Many, not all of them. Many, not all of them. Somebody. <laughs> Eam still caught some bodies on Lucy, I assume. No, I'm not sure if he got all of the residents out of there. I couldn't make direct contact without any encryption, without an encryption snail. Uh, so I rerouted my call through the island while we were setting sail. Wait, what? Oh! Oh, Big Brain plays! Yo, he was getting around Eam's schemes, bro. Because Eam was trying to track Sabo, and he was like, oh, we're tracking his call on the island like on the island so they they thought that he was still on the island sent the mother flame over to the lucia but he was already out of there on his way to the, uh the hq the kamabaka queendom yo okay got bamboozled by sabo could not be me well that's not a disrespect to sabo but you know he, he took that l i knew the government would intercept the signal but doing it like that was sure to fool them into thinking i was still on the lucia however I was just within range, having already set out to see with our new enlistees. So the annihilation of Lucia really did happen uh, during all that. Yeah, everyone was on board, it was hysterical. A lot of them had family on the island. They saw their country obliterated right in front of their- Wait, so there was still people. Everyone on board was hysterical, a lot of them had family on the island. Sheesh. Oh my god, yeah, bodies were still taken. He just brought, like, that one ship couldn't bring everybody on the kingdom on board. Damn, rip, rip to those people, I guess. How in the world did they do it? An enormous shadow seemed to engulf the sky above us, and the next moment everything was gone. An enormous shadow? What you know, dragon? Dragon, what do you know? You know something about this? You know, you know anything about this dragon? Please tell me you know something. There is no way it was caused by a living thing or some natural disaster. Something, something pitch black was flying above the clouds. It was the el, bro. It was the alien from Nope. That that cloud is not fucking moved. Sabo, earlier you said they used the name Emu, right? This may be a little, this may be a little out there, but when the world, oh, this is this is Ivanka fucking talking, dude. Please, please, bro. When the world we know today was created 800 years ago, one of the first sovereigns was Saint. Whoa! We get a we get a last name drop. Was Saint Emu of House Nerona, Emperor Nero six 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 the Devil? Nah, it could be something else. What is the etymology? Okay, I'm looking that up. We get a we get a last name drop on Emu House Nerona. We get we get. In, we getting noble house names. Where we we the song of ice and fire out here? Nerona? Perona? <laughs> Perona house Nerona? You got something to say? Nerona. Okay, wick, there's a Wiktionary link. Uh noun. Nerona. One. S of singular of Nero. So it's derived from Nero. Is this the same Nero we're thinking of? Like Emperor Nero? From Proto Finnic. Narrow meaning skill, ability, wit. Ah, uh, this it this may or may not be the correct etymology, but it's some it's some food for thought. So it could mean skill, ability, wit, and that's uh that that, that pretty much sums up Eam. So the full name would be Saint Nerona Eam if we're going by you know if we're going because One Piece names go by the Japanese order. It'll be. Um, last name, first name, like Monkey D. Luffy instead of Luffy D. Monkey. Now look at this. Oh, what what is that book? Is that gonna be a face reveal? Since we know an ability granting eternal youth is said to exist, that must mean someone had used it before. Oh, so okay, yeah, obviously the the um the uh, lost root. The op, uh, I can't speak right right now. The op op no me, which means there is a person out there that doesn't need to worry about death. And that's Eam. So you think the one I saw? <laughs> Who is Law gonna use that? He's gonna use that on somebody. He's he's gonna use that operation on somebody. Like what can? 
It can't be Luffy. I don't think Luffy would need it. it it's somebody, though. It could be a coincidence. Maybe they are. Maybe they just share the same name. No way. No way in hell. Could anyone else but founder command of the five other planets? I like how I like how since they're called the five other planets, they're starting to say it now more, more uh, frequently. Because they never called them the five other. Weren't they called like the five other scrolls? No. Wait. No. I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm thinking of Elder Scrolls. <laughs> The five elder stars. I think yeah, they were called the five elder stars, not the scroll, not elder scroll. Um, the highest of the world nobles, the celestial dragons, fancy themselves as descendants of the gods. After all, one more thing. Assuming the object you saw above the clouds was a weapon made by the government, what do you know? What do you know? The only one capable of creating a thing would be Vegapunk. Hold it, Eva. Vegapunk would never intentionally design a dedicated killing machine, bro. What are the seraphim? <laughs> what are the seraphim? I, I think if he did actually create something like this, if he did fully create a destructive machine as such as this mother flame, there has to be a way where he has full control over it. Like similar to how he has full command over the seraphim and not anybody else. I, I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Unless the Gorosei and Eam have a higher authority over him when it comes to commanding the when it comes to commanding the Seraphim. Is it the same thing as the Mother Flame though? Like Vegapunk could just be like, all right, self-destruct. <laughs> and then he blows the creation up. I know. So what if it was an ancient weapon? Oh, okay, wait, we're going back. We're, 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 we're backpedaling a little bit. Maybe it's not, maybe it's not Vegapunks. But they said it's Vegapunks. Hey, go back up. They straight up said it's Vegapunks. They said time to put Vegapunk's invention to the test. Use the Mother Flame. Unless Vegapunk it's not Vegapunks and he lied and it's actually uh, the ancient weapon Uranus. What? Why, wait, why are we backpedaling here? Or like, why are we like going... The, the same In the same chapter, it's talking about, you know... What? The same... Okay, the same chapter, they just explain Vegapunk and that's... And the Mother Flame is his. And then that's what supposedly took out Lucia. But now they're saying, what if it's an ancient weapon? All right. I mean, they don't know... For, they don't know. Okay, no, never mind, never mind. I'm, I'm illiterate as fuck. They, they don't, they don't fully know that because they, they weren't in the same room. They weren't in the same room as the girls. They talking about that. It's Vegapunks. I don't know. Assuming Emu has been living since ancient times, there's a connection. I, I personally don't think. I don't know, cause any anything can happen with Vegapunk. It, it, pro it probably is his. Robin told us that the ancient weapons do in fact exist, but this person. Ha if this person has such a weapon, why wait to use it now? To uh, why wait till now to use it? What is this? Why we're going back to Marijuana? This chapter is crazy. We're going back and forth between locations in one chapter. Present day, the Holy Land of Marijuana. Celestial dragons have just been sentenced to death. A celestial dragon have just been. Wa, wa ha ha! Our food supply is gone. We have no bread. All we have is cake. Okay eat the cake <laughs> what are you doing however this information will never be reported to the outside world oh they're gonna they're gonna execute on what's his face damn that's last of the Don Quixote the judge was the former king of the land known as God Valley huh he currently serves as a, as a supreme commander of the God Knights <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Is this Shakespeare's pop? He got the moon cut. Yo, look at him. Look at his sword. What is that? So the Figurland family are god knights. Shanks is a Figurland. Yo! <laughs> Yo! Saint Figure. Saint. Saint Shanks! <laughs> Saint Figurelin Shanks, bro! <laughs> Saint Figurelin Shanks! Brody! Hey, yo! Hey, yo! Saint Figurelin Shanks! You cannot be serious! Is this his pop? This has to be his dad or something. Oh, there's more! The man sends to execution. The man he sends to execution? None other than the one who chose to defend Fishman. Holy shit! 
Well, look at him. Don Quixote, Ma uh, Mio's guard. Anyone who protects scum is lower than the scum they protect. Aw, oh, no, you cannot be Shanks' pop. Never mind. Never mind, bro. Break for five weeks? Damn! Read further for more info. I thought it was four. No, I'm definitely jumping off the red line. I'm jump I'm jumping off the Sky Island. I'm I'm going right down just just like with Kaido. I'm gonna I'm gonna be right next to him. A man that can even judge celestial dragons. That's sick. Yo, we're finally getting canon figurelin characters in the story. To our readers, thank you for reading One Piece. To accommodate Oda Sensei's upcoming eye surgery, One Piece will be taking a break from issue 29 on sale Monday, June 19th until issue 32nd on sale Monday, July 10th. July 10th. Bro, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do, bro? Is time travel possible? <laughs> is time travel... Yo, that video is funny. Is time travel possible, bro? We are very sorry for the delay. Thank you for your understanding. Serialization is scheduled to resume in issue 33 on sale. Oh, July 18th. Damn, that's even... Ah, oh, July 18th. July 18th. I'm marking that calendar. Your continued support of One Piece is greatly appreciated. And, uh... Oh, this is the translated version. Huh. He said... He said, and also the ability to shoot eye beams. Along with his improved vision. That's goaded. Give me a bit. Alright, I'll, I'll give you a bit. Oh, wait. I was looking it up and I could have just waited until the end of the chapter came about. We got it down here. Alright, let me see. I'm going to just skim through this and I'm going to get out of here. Say. Oh, yeah. Say does mean star. But now now it's referring to planets. Yeah, it references to planets. Uh, what are their names? Though? What do their names mean? We decided to go with Saint Tommen Valkyrie as a spelling for the Justice Warrior God's name in order to fill... And all potential references. The first half of the name, don't know what that means, can be romanized as Wall, Val, War, and adopting for Val allows us to acknowledge the possible references to the Valkyrie. Okay, yeah, I was right. It's just a different, it's the alternate spelling of it. The planet Mercury can be spelled as, don't know what that means. Um, so this is Katakana, by the way, but I just, I can't read it yet. And the later, and latter half of the word shares spelling with a phys with physicist Mari Curie. Ah, oh, okay, okay. The first woman to win a Nobel Prize. Yo, Oda is so good at, at like different name schemes. It's clever. Her name sounds like Mercury, and her work in radiology is world famous. She has a Nobel pop culture presence in Japan. That's cool. Ah, uh, wait, that doesn't explain. Wait, okay, so that. Who? Wait, so who is Mercury? Val Valkyrie? Oh, Valkyrie is Mercury. So it should be Mercury, right? M Mari Curie. M Mari Curie. So that, that's how you would say it. Mari Curie. Mercury. Mari Curie. Top, top man Mercury then, right? So not Valkyrie. That's just how they wanted to have the translation be as. Okay, so we... Obvi okay, obviously Mars. We don't have information on these yet. What the hell would Shepard shoot? Oh! I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. How did that fly over my head until now? Jupiter? Jupiter? <laughs> that flew over my head, bro. I, yo. If I was out in the mountains and I was looking dead at some leopard or lion, bro, I would have been gone. I would have been, I would have been in Yomi, just wandering around the afterlife, bro. I would have been dead. How did that, how did I miss that? How, wait, so what, V, Venus, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm so done, all right, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be- I can't believe that flew over my head. That's crazy. I'll see y'all in five weeks. Take care.